So that's how he made Earth. Okay? He made Earth, it just started out as a, a small ball of energy. You know, just a rudiment, first atom, one atom that started with, with light. With, a, with this spoken light, you just that power, and and from there it just molded all these atoms, and they just start swirling around each other, and 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 it got to be a just a ball of fire, water and fire. That's what our Earth was at, at once, and it just kept swirling around, swirling around, and uh, you know the core got hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter, and just kind of melted it together into just what we have now. So that's, you know, he had to have the light energy to do anything. But see, scientists are taking it that, oh, everything coming from the Big Bang. All the materials are already in the air, you know, and then it just clumped together. And, you know, just out of randomness, just all, all this came out of randomness, they think. And that's, they're totally avoiding the the creation, the absolute creation. Now, God came around, you know, he started planning this trillions of years, long before the stars were made. Way longer than that. You know how many billions of years can we see now, as far as light is concerned, coming at us? Well, God created all those stars. So, <laughs> we're talking trillions and trillions of years before God created. And then created, and then it's been trillions of years since creation. Can you imagine a stars, these stars going on forever? No end to them. There is no end. Everything's in God. He's everywhere. There's no end. There's no end to the smallness of an atom. There is no end to it. It's infinite. There's no, it just goes on and on. We can't understand that stuff. You know, I have I'm the Word in the flesh, but I don't understand that. That's so that's so beyond anybody's comprehension. Now we'll probably learn some of that. You know, living in paradise for the rest of uh, you know eternity. You know, the Word is going to get that knowledge that those people with the words, the saints, the, the prophets and us, we're, we're not going to be called that anymore in paradise. We're just going to all be the same person, actually, in different bodies. We're all going to think alike. We're all going to hear God's voice. We're going to speak for Him, actually. Okay, We'll be speaking for God to, to the rest of the world, population. So, and I want to get to that now. I'm, I'm talking about some important things here. How we're created. The flesh. Why do we have flesh? Okay, so now you know. The flesh is, is needed to experience ourselves. Without the flesh, we can't... Nothing. We can't experience time, weight, nothing. We're in God. We're invisible. But once we're in the flesh, then then we can, man, we can think. We have, we have a brain. We can process our thoughts that God created us with. But the problem was, our bodies with these genetic sins wouldn't allow us to understand these thoughts. It scrambled them. It distorted them. It, it, it made them where we thought only of our flesh. It kept us thinking of something else than our created self. Created existence. Okay? We think of everything else but that. Now a lot of people read in the Bible and they say, oh yeah, well we, we have a soul and things, but they don't understand it. There's a whole different thing of understanding it for reality and thinking with those thoughts from God than it is to have scrambled thoughts and then read it from a Bible. Totally different. There's no comparison. 
I'm not using any Bible. I haven't read my Bible for a year and a half. I haven't opened up my Bible for a year and a half. And I only went in there to check out a couple of things that God wanted me to check out about sin. Some sin scriptures to use to show Christians that they're wrong. And it doesn't really make any difference anyway because they're not going to understand me. If you're a Christian listening to this, you don't, you don't have the capacity to understand because you're still a, a sinner. Your flesh is not opened up to it. It's, the veil hasn't been lifted off. So you can understand who you are in God. You don't have the thoughts from God that, that without deception in it. So you can understand all these things of God's God and His plans. It's impossible. Not unless you're a chosen one and keep listening to me. If you keep listening to me and keep listening and listening, it might take a year, it might take two years, and then finally God will reveal Himself to you. Now, I've gone over that in other tapes and stuff too, about how to, you know, becoming a saint and things like that. Uh, and that's a lot of discussion about that. There's a lot of talking to uh, to learn about that stuff. You know, it's not just, I believe in Jesus and you're saved. No, no, that's nothing. That's absolute nothing. That's taking words out of a Bible and pretending you know something. That's nothing to do with God's, the mind of God and thoughts that you get from Him. Not at all. You can't possibly understand the things of God as a sinner. It just won't work. So don't even go there. Your flesh has to die in this age so that your created thoughts you know, we'll, we'll stay alive in God until you get a new body to experience your thoughts again. There's going to be a delay of a long, long time, and I'm going to get into that now. But first I needed to clear up this creation, who we are in God as, as, as a soul, as thoughts, our heart, mind, and soul is a way to describe it. How do you describe that? You, something you can't see. You can't. You can only experience it. You can only experience it. And, and as a sinner, you can't. All I can do is tell you about it, but you can't experience it yet. I'm just trying to put you in the right, right <laughs> road. You know, of where we're going and what's going to happen to us. Because it's going to come soon. Very soon here. And uh, so once you start, once you understand that we aren't the flesh, okay, you separate yourself, your created self, from the flesh, then things will clear up a lot for you. You will be able to realize that our flesh is meaningless. That's why everybody's dying. And it's, it's you think God wanted all, all of us to die? He didn't create us to die. He created us to live for eternity within Him. Our flesh was just a means, a short means during this age, to experience life, so that the prophets would be born. Jesus would be born, us saints would be born, and we could gather the knowledge to go to paradise with. Now that knowledge stays in the Word, doesn't stay in our brain. None of this goes in, this, none of this stuff I'm talking about is coming from my brain. It comes directly from God, from the Word, okay? None of this is stored up in my mind. It's just coming right out, right from Him. So, that knowledge that I speak is retained in the Word now that it's been spoken and we can use it in uh, paradise. I'll go to the next one here. 